on today's video i want to share some i would say the most important tips for the game now when the game is here for about one month i believe i pretty much know everything about the game so i definitely want to share that with you guys so you know and it should be definitely helpful for everyone because you're gonna save so much stamina you're gonna save so much gems plus you're gonna advance uh, on your account a lot lot faster if i knew some of these tips in the beginning uh i would be doing much better but still i'm satisfied it's all cool i i found out about most of the stuff really really fast with your help etc etc okay so let's go let's go first one of the most important tips that i can give you is saving stamina okay this is crucial that I didn't do in the beginning, but now lately I'm doing it. Save your stamina, okay? As much as you can, of course, of course. Save as much as you can. I'm not saying you should not play the game and you should not play the event and all of that, but try to not use a lot of stamina when there is no special campaign involved. That special campaign is usually happen during the weekend as far as I recognize the pattern main quests double item drop rate okay double item drop rate that is extremely important because when you use your stamina then you will get two times more material let me call it like that two times more materials for uh, your characters for ability board like for example now if i go onto ability board okay let me choose, for example, I don't know, I need to use plenty of more materials on this Todoroki until I'm satisfied. So go, for example, one of your characters. And here, for example, I need 16 of those materials. Okay, now I'm going to use the stamina. But for example, I need to now put like 16 and I probably won't get all 16, most likely. Um, Yeah, I got like 13 if the campaign was here two times drop rate trust me i would have to go like 10 times and i would have enough of these materials okay one more thing of course uh, for example when i need this green bottle it is really good like i need green bottle i will go and farm this event because this green bottle is before this red stuff okay already been explaining that because here i don't want to farm here if i need this uh, green bottles okay I don't want to farm here because then I have like lower chance of drop rate to getting there. Always choose the stage that gives you higher chance of the material you need. This advice will save you so much uh, gems and stamina. Plus, by doing this, what I show you right now, currently now it's not so much worth it than during the weekends when you have two times a drop rate on main quests. Okay, then you want to... Uh, unlock as much as possible ability boards now stamina stacks up to 999 not beyond that when you're on 999 it will stack up on your gift box okay make sure to save it up and you'll be good to go okay so make sure to save it uh when the campaign drops okay one more thing that's really crucial i mean i have a few more tips but this one is like wow 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 uh, something like already some of you told me and I already see uh, JP, JP Fanta talking about that. And of course, it is logical, but I want to say it on a video. Free to play, guys. Everyone who is low on gems, on the new banners, you should not even use gems, okay? For example, I shouldn't, I'm a content creator. I will always use gems. But if I was like strictly free to play, pa uh, free -to -play player without YouTube, I wouldn't use any gems on any banners. I would use free single summons with the tickets and the daily free single summons. Like every day, uh, for example, you need to choose one of these three banners. The best would be currently now World, World Hero Mission characters. So I don't want to waste gems because th this banner is, was here for about one, four weeks. Currently now it's like three weeks here, two, three weeks, and it will be here for another two, three weeks, okay? Even more, no, two weeks, something like that, okay, never mind. But every day I did the free single summon and I pulled the unit that I need. So I wasted those gems, okay, in that way. But 
me as doing the videos i didn't waste those gems i had to do that i want to do it but as a regular player i'm telling you you should not summon on any banner you should just save your gems and just do the free single summon okay if you don't get lucky if you don't get lucky until the point when banner leaves then go with your gems okay so wait always last day to summon on the banners in that way you uh, you increase the chance that you pull the character for free without using gems okay just saying that another tip uh then few more tips that i already been talking about that but yeah events <sighs> There is always a discussion on these events. Should you use most of stamina on events or focus on ability boards? Well, in this kind of event, I advise you use your stamina on that event. But I know that case of training items is really important and the most of the stuff you're gonna get coins on this event. But me being like when I get all what I want, I just go focusing on ability board. So always your stamina on events first. When you get all the materials that you want, that you want, then go again on the ability board. And if you cannot do event, you need to do the ability board first. So in my eyes, stamina is always more important for ability boards and the main quests. But at some type, at some time when you're advanced enough, you can waste all your gems on the events gather what you want and then go again on the ability boards that is like somewhere in between you need to be somewhere in between now one more that's like third tip now a lot of you ask me a lot of you ask me on ability board what should you unlock first okay i'll take for example aizawa here always i mean always first unlock first unlock this unlock skill now you can also go with ability board first uh, like one second why did i click here uh bam 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 uh because this unlocks skill and that's really important i believe you need like 10 fragments for the character so also always unlock this when you unlock this first part of the peace route that is something what you should do first on a peace route okay then don't go further than that then go on a basic route and do, do the stage six okay complete all the stages until six you can also awaken the character when you complete stage six stop at seven and then focus on peace route okay unlocking at least first three um when you unlock un unlock skill the first that you need to do even before basic route i would say because then your character has like full potential uh then focus on the other two okay unlocking all stats unlock li limit uh level limit and then the others okay so when you're done with page six on a basic route then you can focus more on a peace route on the first three stuff on the actually second and third okay and then at the time you can have fun like you can do a little bit of this a little bit of that you know but that's really it's really important that you unlock the first part of the peace route immediately uh for the character you want to use then basic route to the stage six then play as you please so, but that's really important but when you awaken the character then focus on a peace route for sure okay so that's about that right uh this 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 about summoning i said stamina gems campaign always follow that events for the stamina okay a few more tips in the quest and that's pretty much it usj when you see you won't finish it you can always forfeit before the end and then the tries won't apply okay i believe you already know that the e tower when you see you won't be able to finish it like you're on a stage uh, level uh, s uh, third level and you see you're gonna lose if you lose you will lose everything and then you need to go from the stage one then two then three again but when you see on a stage three okay i'm losing or stage two or stage one you can all you can just close the game restart the game uh, and you're gonna end up on whatever floor you thought you're gonna lose okay so for example i'm on a third floor i will see i'll lose i exit the game i open it up again and from there on I can go on stage three 
without wasting any gem, any stamina, nor anything. Okay, I mean tries, not stamina. Okay, guys, so these are like some major tips that I just didn't know in the beginning and I should have known. Hopefully, this will be helpful in that way. I saved plenty of gems, I saved plenty of coins, I saved so many stamina, or I can say I use stamina a lot more efficiently. Okay, guys, so that's it. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.